welcome to my channel at Makeup by Talia. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content. Amazon links for all the products used are listed below. So this perfect Shirley Temple curl is great for when it's like day five, day seven, after you straighten your hair, the thrill is gone, you're looking like James Brown, but you got somewhere to be. This hairstyle is gonna get you snatched. So we're gonna start by finger combing that hair and we're gonna put some Olaplex in it. Olaplex bonding oil, it's great for softness, shine, and managing frizz and flyaways. It's also great for repairing damage and compromised hair. We're gonna go ahead and show some love to all throughout the hair, especially to the ends of the hair. And then we also wanna work that oil into the middle of the hair as well. The crown of the head tends to get a bit drier because it's exposed to the sun and the wind and all the elements. So go in and work that oil all throughout. We're gonna heat protect our hair for this wand. I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair into three sections. I decided to go with the swoop action today because I was feeling cute. And we're gonna go ahead and pull back that hair that we're not using and work on that front section. I'm pouring a quarter sized amount of bonding oil into my hand and I'm working that through my hair, really making sure I get everything covered for this wand because nobody wants to be walking around without their edges, okay? On to K-Val Cream Press. It is humidity resistant, it is smokeless, it is greaseless. I learned about this from a hairdresser 15 years ago. I love this product. We're gonna combine that with the Olaplex and work that all the way through the hair, further protecting the hair. I'm gonna twist the section I'm not working on out of the way and detangle the hair that I am working on so it'll have a smoother finish with a wide tooth comb. Now I'm just sizing up how big a part I want for each curl. My weapon of choice, the Curly Pops Bedhead Wand Curler, a great product. It works fast, the curls last for days. So I'm gonna go ahead and create one inch curls. So I'm sectioning out the hair in one inch sections and then curling all the hair in the same direction in the same section. So on the left side, I'm gonna place the wand curler under all of the hair that I'm curling in that section. It's gonna make the curls look uniform. They're gonna look stylized in the front, but don't be cool and forget to use that glove because there's nothing cool about burning your fingers. He needs some milk. You can see my face, that's fear. Unless you wanna have trust issues with hot tools, lift that wand curler away from the face while working. Here you'll see me repeating that same method over and over again, curling the curls in the same direction. And then I'm gonna move on to the other side where I'm then gonna take that cave out and that Olaplex mix. I'm gonna rub it through the hair to tingle with a wide tube comb, section the hair out into one inch sections. And then on this side, I'm gonna end up placing the curler in a different position. On this side, you'll see me placing the wand curler on top of the hair that I'm curling. And I'll repeat that for all the curls in this section. This will create a stylized, uniform look on this side as well. We wanna make sure the front and focal point of the face looks very organized. I hold the wand curl in place for eight seconds, and then I remove it for eight seconds and I let the curl cool so it'll maintain its shape. Make sure it's not longer than eight seconds so you can walk away with all the hair you started with because that wand curler is hot. So we got the front done. The vision is coming together. We're gonna start working on the back section and the bottom of the back section, moving that hair that we're not working with up and out of the way. And then for this back section, you're gonna again distribute the Olaplex and K-Val combo throughout all of the hair that you're working with. Detangle it with a wide tooth comb. And then for this section, we're gonna use an alternating method to build volume. So we want to create a sculpted look and a balanced look. So we're going to alternate the curl pattern. So with that first curl, you're going to place the wand on top of your hair. Remember to always slide the wand out to preserve the shape of the curl. And then for the next curl, you're going to place the wand underneath the hair. Always wrapping the hair all the way around the wand. And then sliding it out. Remember that eight seconds on, eight seconds off method. And then we're just gonna repeat this all throughout the scalp. We really wanna build a look that has volume. It creates some kind of shape to our face. 
So just keep alternating those curls one by one. So at some point you're gonna look up and you're gonna see, oh, I look really cute. It's okay, you can take a little dance break because you do look cute. And that's exactly what I did. All right, back to work. All right, so this is the Mecca curl. This is the last curl. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. We have made it. We have a million curls in our head, but we made it. So now you're just gonna take the hair and position those curls, looking at them, seeing what needs to be recurled, what needs to be redirected, so it all looks uniform. And this is the moment I knew I did my thing. So we like this look. We're gonna go ahead and lock it in, put a ring on it. We're gonna use some Fantasia Liquid Mousse Spritz. We're gonna spray it all up, down, sideways, back ways, front ways, inside and out, and make sure you get that hairstyle locked in. Now for this next scene, I didn't need to pat my hair, but I was just feeling cute, so I figured why not? Just pat it, shake it, let it sway, give it some hang time. You did that. Great job. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so feel free to comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. I love you and I'll see you in the next video.